The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. I went to Islands of Adventure. It was really cool. Oh my god. We're in a competition. And they call this work. Back in 1996. I'm about to be yelled at. I have never been to a scrapbooking convention. Creating a brainstorming session to strategize. I'm on my way to the dentist. So I'm upset about that. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. So today we are riding to the Miami-Dade Kendall campus because we're gonna start our two-day course to get our motorcycle endorsement. When our executive producers told us that we were gonna do the licensing to ride a motorcycle, I laughed because I said to her, look, I've been riding for over 20 something years, I don't want to give you the exact date, you know, but I've been riding for a long time. So really, do I really need to get a license? Alexa wants to kind of switch it up. She wants to go from the back seat to the front seat. Because I've been riding in the back of a motorcycle for 26 years and I don't even know how to turn it on. Before we actually went to get the license, I was with a friend of mine and he was mentioning how he went out for a cruise down to Miami Beach and he got pulled over and he had to pay a thousand dollar ticket because he didn't have a motorcycle license. You know, sometimes we need to learn from other people's mistakes. Count me in. We are um, taking a class to get our motorcycle license. It's Florida's largest motorcycle training provider. We do uh, safety training and education uh, for people to get their license and learn how to ride motorcycles safely. This works. So the first thing that the instructors make sure you do is familiarize yourself with the different controls. On the right hand side you have the throttle, you mentioned gripping this with a flat wrist. Fuel supply valve down here. Find yourself a motorcycle if you vertically challenge this way, something taller, vertically challenge this way, something with a little bit shorter. And walk around the uh, motorcycle, identify the important controls and parts, and look at the little license tag on the back. They have like... 20 bikes there, you pick your own bike. As soon as I got behind the motorcycle, and I feel like a lot of people were feeling the same thing, the anxiety. I mean, not for people like LJ and Bird who are used to riding motorcycles, but for the newbies had like me that had never touched a motorcycle before, it was very scary. The next thing is we jump on it, and we really kind of get the feeling of the bike, you know, the weight of it. That's it, all right, look behind you, make sure you're clear, uh, back up a little bit, and stop. Right now, we're going to give you guys some examples to show you on how they kind of set up everything and like how they kind of coach us. Squeeze the clutch, first gear, after a while we'll just put that first gear. Then we start to really familiarize ourselves with how it rides. First set of exercises today are fundamentals just to get to understand the machine, learn how to control it, things of that sort. There are four fundamentals that we covered. Basically, they're getting the machine going and then braking, turning, and stopping. We started riding, it's like a bunch of different uh, sessions that you do, and each session is like a different obstacle. And right away, people started dropping their motorcycles, and I was like, oh my god, please don't let me be next. How you doing? Hi. We got a tip over. Yeah, I'm glad I'm in this group, though. We're a little slower over here. <laughs> We've had a couple minor drops today, and believe it or not, that can help the growth because others say, hey, they're getting back up, they're getting on, they're riding, they're being successful. So they give you different drills, everything from leaning in, really feeling the weight shift while you're riding. You want to race? <laughs> and then we start using more of the controls, like braking, so you can really feel how the weight of it is. The first day, I was like, I can't believe I'm here. Halfway through the first day, I'm realizing how important it is to go through this course, not just for the license. License is very important. You do want to be legal. However, the being able to learn some of the basic skills, and even if you've been doing it for a long time like I was, it really kind of awakens a different part in your mind. So you see things that really were there, but you weren't paying attention to. The day has been going great. It's, it's beautiful weather for this. The students are really getting a, a good feel for the, the bond between the machine and themselves. What you did great was you held it. You held that rear brake, you controlled it, and you brought it to a great stop. So congratulations on that. By that time, we were down to two girls. We started with three, and now we're down to two girls. And 
I was like, okay, maybe this is not for girls. I mean, why not be on a bike? I mean, not all the guys need to be on bikes. I mean, girls have to be on bikes too. And then slowly but surely started like separating us to give us different tasks as we were more advanced. You want to become proficient in riding smoothly through curves. The range layout we have. There is a braking lane on the near side perimeter of the rain. The instructors were really good. At first, it's, they're trying to be outgoing because everybody is kind of like, really don't know what to expect. Anything else? Cool. Go to your bike. We started doing like extra hard drills. They make you test your skills. We had a plywood and we had to jump over it for like 10 or 15 minutes and it was really difficult. At the same time, fun and challenging but we all got through it. Really the whole point of this is to kind of get muscle memory of how the bike's gonna feel doing these different operations. Now how many of you are starting to feel the bond with this bike? It's getting more easy. When you become one with the bike, that's when you know you're doing it right. How many of you had your bike talk back to you a little bit? <laughs> I mean, it's a few of you have had that. Yeah, I was comfortable with what I was doing. I just knew I wasn't hitting that third gear. It was really nice to hear from other people because as the day progressed, you really got to know other riders because at the end of the day, everyone was there for the same reason. I got to bond with people, meet new people, in fact, connect with people that you can ride with over the weekend. It, it was awesome, it was a great experience. The students make the class fun, watching the growth out of them every single weekend. And that's the beauty of the class, is they're able to, in a short amount of time, pick up the, the basic skills required to pilot this thing around the parking lot. It's definitely something different. I mean, you always have somebody that, you know, has a little bit of struggle with it, but, you know, just to see them progress. The fun part for us is to be able to just give them that little bit of input, uh, you know, that, that feedback that they can go try and do a trial and, and get some response from the motorcycle and, and see the light go on. Hi, welcome to the family. My name's LJ, and don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And and don't forget to subscribe.